Hello, my name is Craig Hagee. I'm with the Department of Mines, Minerals, and Energy, and today we're going to talk about this pumping unit. The pumping unit allows the water to be pumped off the formations and the gas to flow. The first thing we look at when we're inspecting a pumping unit is we look at the permit for the permit sign. The permit sign has the well name, the company, the contact number, the permit number, and who to call in case of an emergency. The second thing we look for, since this is a coal bed methane well, is the warning signs. It tells that this machine starts automatically, warns of pinch points, and also tells that there's no smoking because there's maybe presence of flammable gas. The next thing we are looking at during our inspection is for leaks. We check the wellhead stuffing box and we also check the plumbing that goes either direction to the water and to the gas to make sure there's no drips or anything like that. In checking for leaks, we also check the gearbox and the motor. The next thing that we check for are guards. We check to make sure that they are properly fastened to the unit and also protect what they are designed to protect. The moving parts. The guard in there is to protect the moving parts of the pitman arms. And the guards in here are to protect the moving belts from the motor to the gearbox. The next item that we check for are electrical grounds. The grounds will be on the electrical motor that runs the pumping unit and also on the electrical motor starter. Our next item that we check for is to make sure that the valves have their handles removed or plugs in the end. The final thing that we check for in our inspection is to make sure that the pumping unit is operating properly when running. If you ever encounter one of these pumping units while you're out walking, be sure to keep a safe distance, remembering that the unit starts automatically and also there could be flammable gas present. 